Hello, today I would like to share a little bit on how I create one of the environments in the game. So, okay, let's do it. The Foggy Hills level will be full of branches, roots, and fog, of course. That's why I created this huge branch which is gonna be used as main piece for the whole area. I have also taken the chance to create another variations based on this branch. That will be used in other parts of the level, but that's more or less the idea, to have a few branches across the whole thing, right? I know that the process takes a little bit of time, this video is like 10x speed. And that's my process on creating branches and wood materials for the game. I created this darker shade and then the lighter afterwards. One can find moss everywhere in a tropical forest. That's, I'm trying to create this effect here in this branch. Yeah, with that I'm also trying to create a story, right? Like imagine that there was a big tree that had fallen down and then it stayed there for years and years and then this grows grow afterwards. That's more or less the idea. I'm trying to bring a story to the area. If you have ever been to a forest, you usually have these areas where you can see the sunlight. So, I'm creating these sunlight beams, which I would like to use to mimic this effect. So after all these parts, let's compose the environment. Trees are of course the main thing on this in this level. So let's add them. I have created only three variations so far, but I think that's enough to compose this environment. I also feel that uh, playing around with the Z index and the visibility, a little bit with the modulating the, the trees to make it darker or lighter, it helps a little bit with this idea of 3D, even though it's clearly a 2D game. So just to show the concept, um, see when this character moves uh, throughout the trees, uh, you can see that some trees are in front of the character and some others are behind. For me that creates a little bit of this depth effect, and that's kind of what I wanted to bring for this particular place. Besides that I try to add some small details to each area. See where the sunlight beams hit the floor? You can see like some flowers which burst and that brings a little bit of this level like okay this is an open area where you can see some flowers and so on. So after all it's a game right? So we need some enemies for this area. 
So I set up these two hogs and one wasp to kind of play around in this environment. I kind of created this um, kind of swamp or foresty effect that I think it brings a nice idea for this environment. And that's it. That's how I create this small area for my game. I hope you like it and I will share more things soon. Liking and sharing is pretty important for us. So if you want to support this channel further, please do that. Thank you a lot and see you later.